Well, cars once made in Australia, like Holden and Ford, are being replaced by a wave of Chinese automakers. The electric vehicle war is one of the hottest topics in the automotive world. Have you ever wondered who's leading the charge in the global EV market? Is it China with its massive production capabilities and cutting-edge technology? Or is it the US, home to giants like Tesla and Ford? And it's not just Chinese brands, it's global brands building cars in China. As we face a climate crisis, the shift to electric vehicles is more important than ever. But with so many players in the game, who's really winning? In this video, we'll explore the key factors driving the EV market, compare the strategies of different countries, and look at what the future might hold for electric cars. Stick around to find out who's truly dominating the EV landscape and what it means for all of us. Let's get started. The current state of the EV market. The electric vehicle EV market is booming. In 2023, about 14 million electric cars were sold worldwide, showing a huge 35% increase from the previous year. This shift is driven by people becoming more aware of environmental issues and wanting to reduce their carbon footprint. China is leading the charge, making up roughly 60% of global EV sales. Europe follows with 25% and the United States comes in third with about 10%. Tesla is still a big name in the industry, holding a 19.9% market share. But Chinese companies like BYD are catching up quickly. In fact, BYD outsold Tesla in the last quarter of 2023, which is a big deal. Other key players in the market include GACAN, SAIC, GM, Wooling, and Volkswagen. The competition is heating up, pushing everyone to innovate and improve their offerings. All of a sudden, we've got a huge, a huge backlog of Teslas that aren't moving. They, they've just stopped moving. Government incentives and technological advancements are helping drive this growth. However, there are still some challenges like the high cost of batteries and supply chain issues. Plus, some regions are phasing out purchase incentives, which could slow things down a bit. China's strategy for EV dominance. China has a smart and aggressive plan to lead the global EV market. First, they have invested heavily in their own EV manufacturing. Companies like BYD and GACAN have increased production, with BYD even surpassing Tesla in sales during late 2023. The Chinese government has also made buying an EV more attractive by offering big subsidies. This makes electric cars cheaper for people to buy, boosting their popularity. Now, almost 45% of all new cars sold in China are electric, and this number is expected to keep rising. China isn't just focused on its own market, it's also looking to expand globally. BYD, for example, is selling cars in Europe and plans to build factories there to avoid import tariffs. This global push is crucial as China's domestic market becomes more saturated. Another big part of China's strategy is controlling the supply chain for EV components, especially batteries. China leads in producing lithium-ion batteries, which are crucial for EVs. By controlling these resources, Chinese companies can keep costs down and stay competitive globally. China has also built a vast network of EV charging stations, making it easier and more convenient for people to own electric cars. This infrastructure is a key factor in encouraging more people to switch to EVs. The U.S. Approach to the EV Market the United States is taking significant steps to boost its presence in the electric vehicle EV market, but it faces some unique challenges. One major player, Tesla, has been at the forefront, but other American automakers like Ford and General Motors are also ramping up their EV production. Ford, for instance, is pushing its F-150 Lightning, an electric version of its popular pickup truck. The U.S. government is heavily involved in promoting EVs. The Biden administration has set ambitious goals to make half of all new vehicles sold in 2030 electric. To support this, they've introduced various incentives like tax credits for EV buyers and significant investments in charging infrastructure. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 included substantial funding for clean energy and EV projects. However, there are hurdles. The average price of an EV in the U.S. is around $55,000, which is steep for many consumers. This high cost is largely due to the expensive batteries, which make up about 40% of an EV's total cost. To tackle this, American companies are looking to build more battery plants domestically. Ford, for example, plans to open a new battery plant in Michigan, using technology from the Chinese company CATL. Another challenge is the global supply chain. The U.S. is trying to reduce its reliance on Chinese-made components, 
but this is tough since China dominates the battery supply chain. To counter this, the US is investing in its own supply chains, though this will take time to develop fully. The supply chain battle. The supply chain battle is a critical aspect of the electric vehicle EV market, with China currently holding the upper hand. China controls a significant portion of the global supply chain for EV batteries, including the mining, refining, and production of key materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. This control allows Chinese companies to keep costs low and maintain a competitive edge in the EV market. Chinese companies like CATL and BYD dominate the battery manufacturing industry. They have invested heavily in securing raw materials by acquiring stakes in mines around the world. Additionally, China has built a vast network of facilities for refining these materials, a process that is often environmentally challenging and thus less common in developed countries. In contrast, the U.S. is working to build its own supply chain to reduce dependence on China. This effort includes investing in domestic mining and refining operations and supporting battery manufacturing plants. The Biden administration's policies aim to encourage the development of a more localized supply chain, but this is a complex and time-consuming process. The European Union is also trying to build its own supply chain, with investments in battery plants in countries like Germany and Hungary. However, like the US, Europe faces challenges in matching China's scale and efficiency. The supply chain battle is not just about economics, it also involves national security and environmental considerations. As countries strive to become more self-reliant in EV production, the competition over control of critical materials and technologies will intensify. The Role of Tariffs and Trade Wars Tariffs and trade wars play a huge role in the electric vehicle EV market. The U.S. has put high tariffs on Chinese-made EVs and their parts to protect American car makers and reduce dependency on China. For example, the Biden administration raised tariffs on Chinese EVs from 25% to 100%. This makes Chinese EVs much more expensive than the U.S., giving American companies a better chance to compete. However, these tariffs have some downsides, too. They make imported parts and materials more expensive for U.S. manufacturers, which can drive up the price of EVs for American consumers. Some experts suggest that instead of just imposing tariffs, the U.S. could invite Chinese companies to build their factories in America. This would create jobs and help the local economy. On the flip side, Chinese car makers are expanding into other markets like Europe and Asia to avoid U.S. tariffs. They're building factories and forming partnerships around the world, which helps them stay competitive. So, while tariffs protect U.S. industries in the short term, they also push Chinese companies to become even stronger globally. Innovations and Future Technologies Innovation is a big deal in the electric vehicle, EV industry, and companies are constantly coming up with new technologies. Chinese companies like CATL and BYD are leading the way with some amazing advancements. For example, CATL has developed a new type of battery called lithium iron phosphate (LFP) that can power a car for 370 miles with just a 10-minute charge. This makes EVs more convenient and appealing to drivers. BYD has also created a blade battery that fits more efficiently into the car, allowing for a longer range without needing more space. These innovations help make EVs cheaper and better, making them more competitive with traditional gasoline cars. In the US, Tesla is also pushing the boundaries with its new 4680 battery cells. These cells promise to store more energy and cost less to produce, which could make Tesla's cars even more affordable and efficient. The US government is also investing heavily in research to support new EV technologies. Looking ahead, solid-state batteries are seen as the next big thing. They can store more energy, charge faster, and last longer than current batteries. Although still in development, solid-state batteries could change the game in the next decade, speeding up the move to electric vehicles even more. Consumer Perspectives and Market Preferences Consumer preferences play a big role in the success of electric vehicles, EVs. In China, EVs have become very popular, partly because of government incentives and perks like cheaper parking and no restrictions during peak traffic hours. Chinese consumers are also drawn to the advanced technology and lower costs of local EV brands like BYD and NIO. In the US, the picture is a bit different. Many American consumers are still hesitant about switching to EVs mainly due to higher upfront costs and concerns about charging infrastructure. 
However, the market is slowly shifting as more affordable options become available and charging networks expand. Brands like Tesla have made EVs cool and desirable, but traditional automakers like Ford and GM are catching up with their own electric models. Younger consumers, especially in urban areas, are more open to buying EVs. They value the environmental benefits and enjoy the modern features that come with electric cars. Surveys show that nearly half of Americans under 40 would consider buying a Chinese-made EV if it were available. So to sum it up, the battle for dominance in the electric vehicle market is intense and multifaceted. China has made huge strides with government support, innovative technology, and a strong supply chain. The U.S. is fighting back with tariffs and investments in domestic production, but it faces challenges in keeping up with China's rapid advancements. Looking ahead, the global EV market will likely continue to grow, driven by technological innovations and increasing consumer demand. Both China and the U.S. have crucial roles to play in this transition. The future of transportation is electric, and the country that leads in EV technology and production will set the pace for the rest of the world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in business and tech, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.